get a closer look here now. So, in the language of Punjabi, the Sikhs use the word Gujrara, and that's their temple, their place of worship. <laughs> section you'll find a lot of people selling second-hand clothing and different things like that. Now you won't really see this in the other section where we were earlier. So this is the more local section in town and you'll find a lot of Matatu buses here go into different areas in Kisumu and even other areas away from Kisumu. So we're coming up to the marketplace here in Kisumu. one of the local markets here in Kisumu here. So this is the Indo market, very clean, Lo lots of um, <laughs> Fruits and vegetables can be purchased here, spices. This is Danga. Well, in Tanzania, they call it Daga, anyways. And the fish people make different sauces, they cook it with ugali, different things like that.
So that's just a quick tour of the market side here in Kisumu. It's just a short tour. It's, of course, there's still more to the market, but you've got an idea of what you'd expect to see in a real local market here in the area. Here you will find a lot of the bajajis or tuk-tuk to take you to different places. I've seen a mosque or misikiti over there and um, it's for the Ahmadiyya community. That's a sect that started in Pakistan so they do have their presence here in Kisumu and that's their local mosque over there Jaber Mambo So yeah, on this, this, this street here, not too far from the municipal market, you will find a lot of really small roadside businesses selling everything from clothes to construct, construction tools and different things like that. And we're walking towards the clock tower where you, where you do get a chance to, I think, glimpse some parts of Lake Victoria. Some people know it as Lake Victoria. Some people call it Lake Nyanza. And there's other names for it as well. So another lakeside city is in is uh, Kampala that's for one it's that's in Uganda and another one is Mwanza which is in Tanzania which we'll be visiting as well Mwanza is definitely bigger than Kisumu so these are like the lakeside cities here in the region here in East Africa all of them are unique I don't like to say which one is better than the other. I think each of them have their own uniqueness. Um, you have different cultures in each one of them. You have lures here in Kenya. You have, uh, of course, Sukuma and different people in Tanzania. So everyone's unique. So I appreciate the uniqueness in all of the lakeside cities. But what I'll say with Kisumu, it's definitely wide, very clean and a lot of business happening as you can see it's busy and the people are in my in my opinion from my experience with the people that I have interacted with they have been welcoming and friendly So what I'll say, you might be seeing a lot of these clothes and different things selling on the side of the road here, but this is not something that you see throughout the city. It's, in a, it's only on this particular street that I've seen it a lot. 
So it's not something that you see everywhere in Kisumu, which is good. So I guess they allocate certain streets where people can do these things for certain people who are considered lower income earners and they need to, of course, to make money to support themselves and family. So this street here, you might see most of them, but it's not something that I've seen throughout Kisumu city. It's only in certain sections of the city. So we're coming up to the part of the lakeside here. And what I do like, you get to witness a beautiful view of the mountains here in the, Kis in the Kisumu region. Really beautiful, guys. The camera alone doesn't do it justice. So lots of different businesses on this section here as well. Various businesses here. From electronics, you have car tires. There's also a petrol station we're coming up to here. Kobil, Kobili, no, Kobi. So, really nice vibe here in Kisumu. I would say business is booming in this, in this city, most certainly. This, this section here, you'll find a few local hotels and different things like that. And um, I'll say it's the more, how can I put it? You'll find it's the more older section of the city here in terms of the architecture of the buildings. A lot of them still maintain that colonial structure for the buildings here in comparison to like the other side on Odinga Odinga Avenue. can see over there that these are all Japanese imported cars like I was saying to you earlier a lot of people do business out of that here in Kisumu and other parts of Kenya yeah. <laughs> So 
So this is the industrial side here of Kisumu City. You'll find a lot of places where you can get things wholesale. Even certain factories here. And for example, like I was saying to you in terms of the, the buildings here and the various communities that live here, you can see this building over there. It's called Lakshmi Limited Hardware. Now Lakshmi, of course, in uh, India is known as the goddess of wealth. But of course, someone named their business after that. So that kind of reflects the various cultures that had came, come to Kisumu and made the place home. So here we're seeing a lot of hardware goods being sold on this section of town. And you can of, of course get things wholesale prices. So yeah, this is Kisumu guys. I'm really giving you all the ultimate city tour of this amazing lakeside city today. So literally just off Odinga Odinga Avenue here in Kisumu. We come to this section of town here and of the city I should say and here you will find of course various hotels and different things like that. And you also have like the Swan Center which is this building here. Swan Center branch Kisumu and you will have various different businesses here and also you will find the African Institute of Research and Development Studies they have an office here as well you also have the opticians and if you're looking for curtains and different things like that you can also get that here at the Swan Center like I was saying to you before you did have a lot of people that immigrated from India a very long time ago and a lot of them had made the lakeside city of Kisumu their home so you do find a lot of that reflected in some of the buildings the name of the, the businesses here so for example we have Kanika International Dentistry of course that's someone coming from India you also have can't even pronounce that name very well but it's the Shangal, Shangalal Muraji Limited and Co. as well, another building. You'll also find temples, mosque, and all of these things in this section of town here. So if you're looking to get that experience, maybe see and meet people from that side of the world who came from India. A lot of them have businesses here, but of course they employ local people for their businesses, local people from Kisumu. And um, they will be like the face of their business, but a lot of them still own some of the businesses here. Very interesting, but it's more quieter side of town in my opinion. Not that busy in comparison to where we just came. Much more quiet. really laid back feel if i describe the feeling for you right now it's a very laid back feel so what i'm going to do let me see where i can show you if i can show you the temple here so we're going to take a little walk on odera street And if you look all as we're walking here, if you really look closely, you'll notice that this place would have been really even more busy in its glory days. And the style and the architectural design of these builders, businesses are definitely from the colonial times. But they still maintain it and businesses are still in operation today, as we can see here. So just taking a ride just off Odera Street here and not too far from here we will find the Hindu temple and that shows the reflection of the 
diversity in the area. Really quiet guys, I must say. A really laid back feel. That's how I'm feeling when I'm walking here. And it's very hot to be honest. If you really haven't got any business or anything, you don't want to be out idling to be honest. But I'm liking it. The roads are wide, it's clean. I feel safe being here. I don't feel threatened or anything like that. And these are some of the positives you look for when you visit a city. And everything seems to be in walking distance and there are a lot of public transports all around, which makes it easier if I need to get or go to another area. So like I was saying, reflecting the diversity here in Kisumu City, you can see right here, this is the Sri Sanatan Hindu Union Kisumu. This is the temple right here, Sri Lakshmi Temple right here in Kisumu. It's closed right now. I guess maybe next time when it's open, we might be able to do a tour, but this is what it looks like from the outside. So, in the language of Punjabi, let me get a closer look here now. So, in the language of Punjabi, the Sikhs use the word Gujrara, and that's their temple, their place of worship. And this is the word Gujrara here in Kisumu. Okay, so like I've told you before, it's a diverse city. And you find different peoples from different faiths as well being here. This is one of the re reoccurring themes I'm seeing throughout the East Africa region in Tanzania. In Kenya now, we're seeing that definitely we had had a, a large Asian presence that contributed to the e economy in the society here. Some may argue differently, but be that as, as it may, their presence are still here. And this is one of their worship buildings here in Kisumu. 